Uh, welcome to Bill. I hope you're having a good show. Uh, my name is uh, JB. I lead the experience for Visual Studio Tools for Unity. Uh, we have uh, a great partnership with Unity and our developer tools. And today we're going to talk about what is new uh, with Visual Studio for uh, Unity game developers. If you haven't heard about it uh, already, uh, Unity is basically huge. It's, um, it's a tool to create 2D and 3D experiences uh, and games for all major platforms, consoles, mobiles, uh, desktops, AR, VR, MR, uh, headsets. Over the last quarter, they've seen 2.4 billion devices running Unity games. That is a lot. And what's best is that you get to write the code for your game in Unity using C Sharp and .NET. And what better IDE is there than Visual Studio to write C Sharp and .NET? Uh, so let's talk about what is new for Unity developers in Visual Studio 2017. The first thing is the I want the first thing I want to talk about is the game development with Unity workload. During the Visual Studio 2017 uh, development cycles, all teams inside Visual Studio have been asked to componentize everything they were working on. Uh, if you remember installing Visual Studio 2015, it was uh, a process that would take a long time and install a lot of things. Um, so everyone inside Visual Studio made components of what they were doing, and we built a new installer experience on top of that. Uh, and we're building this installer around scenarios that we're calling uh, workloads, and one of them is the game development with Unity workload. If you're using Visual Studio and you're only interested in writing Unity games, you can install everything that you need to write and debug your Unity game in just around one gig, which is five times less than with Visual Studio 2015. So it's definitely an improvement. And because we're installing fewer extensions, because there is less code running inside Visual Studio, you get a faster experience, a more stable experience. And on top of all this work, all teams inside Visual Studio have been really focusing on performances. Uh, if you are uninterested in using uh, Visual Studio to write Unity games, uh, you'll def at least compared to Visual Studio 2015, uh, you'll definitely notice how faster it is. It starts faster, the projects are loading faster, the code completion uh, typing feels faster and is more precise. Uh, I've been using 2017 for a few months now, and yeah, it's definitely an improvement uh, in terms of performance, how it feels over uh, 2015. Uh, we've been adding a lot of uh, also productivity features inside 2017. On, on C Sharp, for everyone, uh, you'll get new refactorings, uh, you'll get code diagnostics, uh, but we also added in the tools for Unity new features that are specific to Unity developers. The first one is the code completion and code coloration for Unity messages. If you already written a Unity game or if you want to learn about them, Unity messages are special methods that you have to declare inside your scripts. You just have to learn their name. Uh, they're called by the Unity game engine. It's not uh, an abstract method that you override. It's just something that you have to learn. For instance, update is a method that will be called by the game engine every frame. So by adding code coloration for them, we're making them stand out uh, so that when you're browsing a script, you immediately as associate this method with something that is called by the Unity engine and just not uh, like another method. And because you have to remember how they're spelled, uh, we're providing cut completion for them so that you never have to mistype on UI uh, all the time. We've improved expression evaluation when you're debugging. Uh, it's not something that you can easily demo, but uh, 
like when you'll be browsing your local variables when you want to evaluate uh, a math expression in your game. Uh, that's also something that we improved in 2017 uh, for Unity. And yeah, we have a bunch of uh, new refactorings and uh, code diagnostics uh, that, you'll, that Unity developers uh, will benefit from. Another scenario I want to talk about uh, for Visual Studio 2017 is when you export a game to UWP. If you're interested in building a UWP game for Xbox, for HoloLens, um, in Unity, like you will build for UWP. The way it works currently is that it will create a new C -sharp project from your Unity project. Uh, but Unity, since Unity 5.6, uh, gives you the option to use this new runtime that they're already using on Android and iOS, named IL2CPP. It's basically the future of runtimes for Unity. They're using it in all uh, their new platforms that they're supporting. Uh, so down the line, if you have a UWP application made by Unity, uh, you should look into uh, using IL2CPP. But uh, as I was saying, there's definitely a difference in workflow. Uh, with the previous exporter, you could create C sharp project and uh, work inside those projects. And if you use ILTCPP, your code will be compiled by Unity to native code before reaching UWP. So if you already tried writing an ILTCPP game uh, exported to UWP, it's basically, and if you want to use the U UWP APIs, you basically had to write them in the dark. Uh, there was no experience for that. So that's something that uh, we built inside the tools for Unity. Uh, it's an obscure scenario, but uh, if you have already used the ILTCPP export to UWP, uh, you'll definitely notice that it's uh, a lifesaver. And the thing I want to show today, uh, especially is Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, we shipped the tools for Unity on Windows uh, years ago already, and we always wanted to go after the and provide an experience for all the Unity developers that are on Mac. Uh, fun fact, Unity started on the Mac, so there's a lot of C-sharp developers building games on Mac, and Visual Studio for Mac for us was the, uh, provided us with the ability to uh, provide tools for uh, this population. It's very easy to set up. Uh, it requires Unity 561, which will be coming out in the coming days, uh, at least this week. Setting up is super easy. You just set your Unity script editor to Visual Studio for Mac, uh, and let's see how it works together. All right. Um, so this is Unity uh, with the uh, sample project uh, that comes with Unity when you install it. Uh, in this scene, uh, this is a simple game where you fly uh, a jet uh, through rings in the sky. I set up Visual Studio for Mac to be the Unity script editor. So whenever I open a script, it will open inside Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, this is the Visual Studio for Mac uh, that we announced this morning, uh, the general availability of Visual Studio uh, for Mac. Um, and you get uh, all the goodies of Visual Studio for Mac for, uh, to write your Unity games, uh, including especially debugging. So let's say that uh, I want to debug the moment the plane takes off and the landing gear raises. Uh, so let me open the landing gear uh, component, a piece of script, a C -sharp code which is attached uh, to my airplane, to the landing gears and put a breakpoint when the landing gear is raised. Debugging is as simple as pressing attach, starting the game inside Unity, and taking off. I hit my breakpoint. I can step. I can look into my locals, my call stack. I can evaluate expressions. Everything you would expect from a C Sharp debugger running inside Visual Studio for Mac, uh, debugging a Unity game that you're, uh, that you're building. Uh, so let's resume the game. Uh, detach the debugger. Stop the game. 
All right. So let's have a look at Visual Studio. One of the things that you will notice uh, is that, especially if you've ever used uh, previously Model Develop or Visual Studio, is that on the left, we're showing the project exactly like Unity is displaying your project, basically as a folder structure, making it easy for you to navigate and find your scripts. Uh, just as I mentioned, uh, we ported our code completion features for Unity messages. Uh, this one is start. It's uh, invoked by Unity initialization. Uh, update is called every frame. So if I were to implement the code completion for colliding the landing gear with the runaway, so I would start with uh, on collision enter. I get code completion for my Unity messages. Uh, now I just need to write the code. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, one of the features we brought from Visual Studio on Windows to Visual Studio for Mac is the code coloration for Unity shaders. Uh, it's code coloration only. We don't have code completion yet. Uh, but it's already a good way to, it's already helpful when you need to read or write uh, a shader. Uh, which sometimes can be quite uh, dense. Uh, another feature that we have is that we're giving you access to the Unity documentation straight from your IDE. You just select the type uh, from Unity that uh, you want to learn the documentation on. You press a shortcut, and you're uh, reading the documentation for what a rigid body means for Unity. All right, so this is basically an overview of uh, the features that are specific to Unity developers uh, for Visual Studio for Mac. Of course, all the features that we have, code refactorings, code diagnostics that we brought from Visual Studio to Visual Studio for Mac also work. And yes, we're very much looking forward to see uh, what you guys are going to build with Unity on Mac and uh, Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, one word. Uh, about what is coming next um, to Unity and to Visual Studio developers. Uh, as I said, Unity is going to release Unity 5.6.1 uh, in the coming days. Uh, 5.6.1 is their stable version. Uh, Unity already has a beta of their next version available. They're changing their naming scheme. Uh, so the next version after 5.6 will be 2017.1. Uh, which is going to be super confusing with Visual Studio, but um, but it's also the beta where uh, they're introducing their uh, mono upgrade. Uh, if you're re <laughs> if you've been writing uh, Unity games, uh, you know that you get to write C# -sharp and .NET, uh, but you're currently running against .NET 3.5 uh, using C# -sharp 4, and of course I know that you. You guys want to use all the latest goodies from .NET and C Sharp. Uh, so this experimental mono upgrade will give you Unity running on a mono 4.6 profile uh, with C Sharp 6. It will give us an improved debugger experience. Uh, they're basically using a scripting engine that is not six years old, which is a plus. And that will give you uh, the chance to use all the modern libraries in the .NET ecosystem uh, and to easily use them in your Unity project, including the Azure SDKs if you want to build the backend for your game uh, on Azure. All right, that's uh, what I have to show today. If you're interested in learning more about either Visual Studio on Windows or Visual Studio for Mac and making them work with Unity, we have a kiosk in the app and game development section where my team is there and we'll welcome you with uh, any questions that you might have. Thank you very much.